YouTube show. Before we dive into this discussion of seasons of life, which I think is very poetic and beautiful, I just wanted to ask who else have you, I, I just got the hiccups. Who else have you been asking advice from? Oh, so when, I, I talked to my gardener who speaks Latin at me. <laughs> And then as I walk around, I'm always, you know, I have my little, uh, let, let's see what they're growing mm -hmm. in their garden. And when the people walk outside, I walk right up to them and introduce myself as a gardener who just moved here. And I'm wondering what works and what doesn't work. And people are so happy yeah. to connect with another gardener. They're like, oh, I got fruit trees in the back. You want to see them? So this one woman on my block, she says, yes, I have fruit trees. And I said, you have fruit trees here? She goes, yeah. I said, well, I have limey. I have a couple of uh, citrus trees. She goes, oh, I have limes, lemons, avocados, bananas, papayas, guavas. I said, where? And she takes me to the back of her house. You're not allowed to grow fruit in the front of your mm -hmm. house here in Florida because the fruit falls and all the animals comes to eat them. But you can in the back. And as we walk into the back of her house, there's a herd of ibises, which are these white birds that are about a foot tall with these really long beaks. And she has three sandhill cranes that are like protecting the garden. The herd, yeah. And they're alive. Sandhill cranes are about four feet, five feet tall. And they're beautiful birds. I thought they were ostriches when I first moved to Florida. Mm -hmm. And they're not scared of people. And they protect her garden there because I'm sure they're eating out of it. Yeah. And she had banana trees with like 50 bananas on, on a sleeve. She had papayas. It was so exciting. And she said that she's going to bring me a basket of fruit when oh, uh, it You made a plant in. friend. I made a plant friend down there. Um, but I, right next door to her, mm -hmm. so she's Colombian, and right next door to her is an Asian woman mm -hmm. that has all kinds of bamboos growing Amazing. all over the place. So she has her flavor of, mm -hmm. of um, planting there too. And she propagates in a ton of little pots, which it looks a little bit junky to me, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> a ton of little pots all over the place. And she's got so much going on there. It's hard to focus on what she's got going on, but I think nature's taking care of her. Yeah. So anyway, those are my two friends. So you have to walk around, you gotta look. You got to talk to the experts, i.e. your gardener. Mm -hmm. Talk in garden centers to your local, you know, you can go to a garden yes. center and talk to the people there. Ideally, um, like a local garden center instead right. of a big box store. Right. In my town, too, it's been tremendously helpful going to our local garden center and asking the women who work there because they're so knowledgeable. If they're working in a garden center, they're gardeners. Well, I also like looking for the little Italians. Always. When I go to a garden center, big or small, I look around to see who's shopping because the, there are gardeners there that are shopping that have a wealth of knowledge. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the people work in the cash registers in the store, they don't know as much as right. the guys that Who are, are actually buying the plants. to shop. Yeah. And I look for like the mom and pop ones mm -hmm. because they have the experience of what's going to grow and what's not going to grow. I, I have that. had some of the best lessons in growing things from the little old lady or the little old man that I've met at the garden center. I'm probably the little old lady you guys will meet at the garden center. <laughs> do, do, do. Do, 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 do.